be a Miss Wisconsin competition either. So the current Miss Wisconsin will hold her title for an unprecedented second year. Alyssa Bohm joins us now to talk about what this means and how she is upholding her responsibilities during the pandemic. Good morning to you, Alyssa. Hi, how are you? <laughs> I'm doing great. Thanks for joining us. I think this is a wild year for you. I mean, it's a wild year for everybody. How are you being Miss Wisconsin and upholding some of the responsibilities or, um, you know, doing your job during the pandemic? Yeah, it is weird. And it's funny because I was just interviewing with you and Molly last year around this time in person. And now thinking that I am doing a second round of interviews talking about my second year as Miss Wisconsin is crazy. But uh, ever since the beginning of March, when all of this started, I kind of just hit the ground running and started thinking about what I could do to engage with people online. So I did a lot of educational videos in the beginning, and then I started to cater them more to what I do as Miss Wisconsin. So my dad is a professional magician, which I I heavily talk about all the time. So we were able to utilize that and create a magic Monday video. So we taught people how to do magic tricks on Mondays. And then Wednesdays, I dedicated that to We Include Wednesdays, where I talked all about my social impact initiative, which is embracing individuals with disabilities. I forgot that your dad is a magician too. I remember yeah. your platform and all the work that you do building inclusive communities um, with special needs. It's, it's so wonderful. I think a lot of people don't understand the Miss America program. It, you know, They see the crown, they see the banner, they think that's what you do as you wave in parades, but you really mm -hmm. do. You work nonstop in communities and schools and at events. And I think that's something that's important for people to understand about the program. Yeah, definitely. I mean, we are one of the largest scholarship providers for young women in the entire world. And it really is an opportunity for girls to learn valuable skills that they really aren't going to learn anywhere else. I've been a part of this organization for six years, and I can say that I would not be the person that I am today. I would not be the professional individual. I would not have my job, and I probably wouldn't have figured out what I wanted to do for my career without this organization giving me those skills and that opportunity to succeed. Because this job as Miss Wisconsin is a full time job and I really do get an amazing opportunity to travel the state and network. It's so cool. You know, I, I would love for you to just share a tip real quick about what people can do to build more inclusive communities, because even in light of, of what the world is going through at this time, whether it's special needs or whether it's racism or whatever it may be, inclusiveness is so important. I think it has a lot to do with educating ourselves about things. Uh, the fear of the unknown is what I like to say when talking specifically about those with disabilities is that we have this fear of things that we aren't familiar with or things that we haven't experienced. And it's just educating yourself, getting out, communicating with those that you might not normally communicate with because you will learn that you have so much more in common with people that are different than you than, than you are alike. It's, it's crazy that we are not giving ourselves the opportunities to really inclusively be a part of a society that should be embracing everyone. It's so true. Hey, what happens with the competition then? Do you compete in 2021? Unfortunately, I do not get to have a round two of Miss America, um, <laughs> but uh, the Miss America competition will be postponed until December of 2021, which they gave all states the opportunities to either try and have their competitions this summer, but there was a lot of different loopholes that you'd have to go through for that to be possible, or you could wait until June of 2021 to hold your competitions. So that gave me the opportunity to either continue on or give up my title to my first runner up, and I decided to stay on as Miss Wisconsin and continue for a second year. That's exciting. What do you what do you hope to accomplish this year? Because I, I felt like after a year, I was kind of like ready to be done with it. So I think the fact that you get an opportunity for another whole year, I mean, it's it, it should be exciting. And I'm wondering what you're planning to do with that time. It's, it's really crazy because I had a mindset in May of post Miss Wisconsin life and what I was going to do after being Miss Wisconsin, but there also was a lot of goals that I did not achieve this year because of COVID-19 and just because you can't achieve everything in one year. It's really hard to do. So I really want to focus on doing more with my social impact initiative that I wasn't able to accomplish this year, like providing beach wheelchairs for beaches all over the cross, across the state of Wisconsin, and then also promoting our program and enhancing the scholarship dollars and the sponsorships that we have for the Miss Wisconsin Scholarship Program. So many more girls need to know about Thanks, this program. Alyssa. I'm going to do that. 
Sorry to cut you off, but we're out of time. So thanks for joining us oh, so much thanks. this morning. You can visit misswisconsin.com for more information. Here's where you can follow along with Alyssa as well, becoming a candidate or booking a virtual experience or appearance as well. 